Eleventh house is primarily seen for wealth. Secondarily, should be seen for fulfillment of wishes and desires, and should also be seen for owner achievements awards. And because someone will have achievements, someone will be owner, someone will be getting awards. It also means that the native is famous. These are the prime attributes of the eleventh house. And apart from that, what other things are signified by the eleventh house? We have learned in the previous video regarding eleventh house. Now talking of eleventh lord in different houses. If the eleventh lord goes into ascendant, it is one of the best combination, right? It is a wealth combination. What we call the new. So this person provided the fact that 11th Lord is not weak or Lagna Lord is not afflicted, should be quite rich, should be famous and should have name, fame, status, recognition in society as well. And apart from that, all the wishes and desires of the native should be full. But if the ascendant is Aries, Cancer, Libra or Capricorn in this particular scenario, 11th Lord in ascendant will also be a Badak. In which case the person should have health issues and obstructions in life. And for this particular reason, the Badak planet have to be appeased. If it is sun and moon and Jupiter, then it have to be appeased by worshipping Shiva. And if it is Mars, then it have to be appeased by worshipping uh, Bhairav, Hanuman or Murugan. In the case of Mercury and Saturn, it have to be appeased by worshipping Sri Vishnu. And in the case of uh, Venus and Rahu and uh, Venus and Rahu, it should be appeased by worshipping Lakshmi for Venus and Durga for Rahu. And in the case of Ketu, it should be appeased by worshipping Ganesh, Hanuman or Nursing. Nursing is also uh, taken for Mars and uh, Lakshmi and uh, other female goddesses can also be taken for Moon. Apart from that, whichever planet is the 11th Lord, we have to keep this particular planet in mind. For an example, if the 11th Lord is Jupiter or Mercury and that is going into Ascendant, it is even more beneficial because these planets are getting diggable. And in this particular scenario, one will be getting very good results if they follow the significations of these planets in their day-to-day -day life. Right? This particular, as I always say, my videos are not for prediction. It is for learning astrology. So this type of analysis that I am doing should be done for all house lords, right? Digable, etc. All these factors should also be considered. On the other hand, if Saturn is the 11th house lord and that goes into ascendant, it is Digable Heen, which generally indicates that person will have to struggle for finances and success. Person will have to struggle for success. And in this particular scenario, the attributes of Saturn, laziness, depending much on others, ill-treating with servants, etc. These habits have to be avoided. Otherwise, it can be very, very problematic. Now, 11th Lord going into second house is a very, very great Dhan Yoga, I will tell you. But what I have seen, there was a person who contacted us and he was like, you know, the person was saying that, sir, we have learned astrology. I have learned basic astrology and we want to, I want to join you. That he actually contacted my wife. Want to join you? We know basic astrology. He said that and we thought of asking him a simple question. We gave him a horoscope where 11th Lord was debilitated in second house. And we asked for his opinion regarding finances on the horoscope. And his analysis was that because 11th Lord is debilitated, in the second house, it should indicate that the person is poor, which was not the reality. Of course, as it will happen, we did not give him admission. But the point that I am trying to make is that exaltation and debilitation, first of all, both of them makes good the new yoke. So if the 11th Lord or second Lord or these planets who indicate wealth are debilitated, there is nothing to worry. Debilitation gives wealth. It does not give much power or owner as such, whereas exaltation gives wealth and power and owner and status and fulfillment of wishes and desires also, which debilitated planet may not give. In any case, connection of second lord to 11th house or 11th lord to second house is a great than yoga and no matter until and unless the planet is going into planetary war or is severely afflicted by the aspects of malefics, it gives wealth. But what I have seen with respect to wealth combinations is that Lagna Lord have to be powerful and this is true in almost every case. I must have talked about it in previous videos. The Lagna is you, Lagna is self. 
there what if there is money around you but not with you you belong from a rich family you have rich parents but you are not having money this is not of much use so only downturn that i have seen that if lagna and lagna lord is afflicted then in that particular scenario 11th lord in second house or second order 11th house may indicate that wealth is around the native but not with the native so we need a strong lagna for any combination to be successful be it rajya or be it dhan yoga which is true for 11th lord in second house also one more thing is there if this 11th lord in second house somehow happens to be a beneficial planet then it is all the way very good because be benefic planets or you say strong planets exalted virgo tam multa kono sarashi otherwise in second house also makes a great raj yog and if this happens to be 11th lord in second house in a good condition or a beneficial planet so it either have to be a beneficial planet or a powerful planet malefic powerful will also make the combination beneficial planets will also make the combination but that does not mean that beneficial planet being weak in the second house are somehow good they are not right so if there is a beneficial planet in second house or a powerful malefic in second house that makes rajyog also dhanyog also so you have wealth as well power also contacts as well so this is very very good right apart from that regarding fulfillment of wishes and desires it gets fulfilled generally after the native is married the person also belongs from good family however he should have control over his speech and should be very cautious regarding what he is saying to people and what implications it may have in their relationship with the person whom they are talking to this have to be kept in mind apart from that this is also a strong combination which can indicate i related troubles so one should be careful regarding these areas as well one more thing is there you should keep in mind that if the planet is powerful mul trikon so rashi varguttam etc then the good result of the planet increases in which case the rajyo that the 11th lord and second house is making will be better whereas on the other hand if the planet is debilitated combust going into planetary war and other such bad conditions then what happens the result of the planet becomes bad in which scenario we cannot consider that good that great result however one exception i have told you that 11th lord even debilitated in the second house or second lord even debilitated in the 11th house makes a dhan yoga and with debilitation this dhan yoga is more made even more powerful so that is something very good that you have to keep in mind apart from that for movable ascendants aries cancer libra and capricorn 11th lord will be badak also and that going into the second house will indicate that there can be problems related to speech there can be problems related to face mouth throat and the family members can be obstruction in the progress of the native which if happening should be kept in mind one thing is there badak going into a good house is not a bad combination until and unless it is connected to a malefic every horoscope will have a badak and that badak will be situated somewhere so until and unless badak is connected to the lord of 3 6 8 12 houses or until and unless badak is connected to natural malefic saturn rahu mars sun it is not a badha at all right so keeping this in mind the badak result of 11th lord in different houses for cancer capricorn libra and aries ascendant should be kept in mind in the same line 9th lord becomes badak for leo scorpio taurus and aquarius ascendant and 7th lord becomes badak for gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces ascendants and this badak going into houses in connection to 3rd 6th 8th 12th house lord or natural malefics create badha or obstructions related to that house in the life of native this principle i have told you right here this you can apply yourself and this badha in different houses i don't know <clears throat> now apart from that if the 11th lord is going into 3rd house you know 3rd house in its struggle and hardships and all of these things So eleventh lord going into third house, one have to struggle and do hardships to earn money. Even the maintenance of money, sustenance of money, saving money is difficult, and many a times because of taking wrong risks and investing into, you know, bad things, the person can lose money also. But eleventh lord is in fifth house from the eleventh house, so after childbirth, native gets good amount of money, and though there can be some financially bad decisions, but even after that, the person will be able to at least secure. or that much amount of money that is necessary for his livelihood to be good 
If the 11th Lord and third house is in a good condition, then in that particular scenario, with the help of siblings working with siblings, following the advice of siblings will be very fortunate for the native. And uh, following the advice of siblings can make the native rich as well. For awards, accolades and owners, though it is not a very good combination as such, but if the person is in any type of sports or planning, then awards recognition owner in that particular area is expected. One thing is there because 11th house indicates awards, accolades and owners. If your 11th Lord is going into any house in a good condition, you can try doing things related to that house or include it in your profession. If you want to get awarded, recognized or become famous, right? This is a tip that you can follow and this will be very beneficial for you. One thing is there 11th house and third house both indicates year. So 11th Lord in third house is very probable that person can have year related issues right hearing related issues or you know bleeding from ear etc one should avoid listening to music at high volume and should take care of their ears otherwise it can be problematic and this is also a combination where the person can meet with a lot of accidents uh, injuring their legs and hands so they should be careful about it as well 11th lord and 4th house first thing that comes to my mind is person is very fortunate in the matters of property and vehicle 11th house indicates multiplicity for non-living things. So when 11th Lord is connected to 4th house or 4th Lord is connected to 11th house in that particular scenario, one will own, one will own multiple properties and vehicles because 11th Lord is generally taken as a beneficial planet. I am telling everything in a good sense. Now, if the planet is afflicted or weak as per the aforementioned conditions, the result have to be modified accordingly and how to do it, I have already told you. So follow that. Apart from this 11th Lord and 4th house, it is not very good for the health of the mother, but it makes very sure that person gets much benefits from mother and can also expect inheritance from mother's side as well. Inheritance from maternal uncles, maternal aunts as well. Generally, these people have a very supportive maternal side of family and they do very well after marriage. Most importantly, these people with 11th Lord and 4th house, if they remain ethical, moral and attached to their life partners, then they succeed much in life as compared to those people who are immoral or who may have girlfriends or extramarital affairs outside marriage. 11th Lord connected to 4th house also indicates that person is not very successful in their homeland and it will be better if they live away from their birthplace. Otherwise, it can be quite problematic. 11th Lord and 4th house also indicates that the person may have a lot of responsibility on their shoulders and is forced to take tension and manage all things all by themselves because they don't have anyone else in life on whom they can put their responsibilities and take rest for at least even one day. So this person have to be very active and this is a combination which can give a little bit of mental tension, depression, dejection also, but leaving aside the emotional part and problems with mother that can be there, other things are good. Also problem with mother does include mother being a working lady, which will significantly reduce the amount of love and care you get from her. So this should also be seen in this regard. 11th Lord going into 5th house or 5th Lord going into 11th house is one of the greatest Dhan Yoga. And if you listen to Rishis, this person even born in a low class family will be very successful at least financially. So this is a very, very good combination. And after childbirth, the person will generally change their profession and they will be very successful in that particular profession. Many a times when the Lagna Lord is powerful or the 10th Lord is powerful, I always say when the Lagna and 10th house is powerful, person automatically starts doing what is best for them. In which scenario, the native may not have to wait for right time or childbirth and they become financially successful right from the starting of their career, starting of their life. All the wishes and desires related to children come to pass. Children are good. They respect you. They do well in life. You live a tension-free life. The native have good awards, accolades, and owners. The native have very good children also. Along with that, the native is also intelligent and the native is academically. The native is academically well praised by people as well. 11th Lord going into 5th house is not very good for the success of the life partner. Generally, it does indicate professional problems in the professional problems for the life partner. 
but apart from that for the native it is very very good and if the native implements their idea without any distraction and if the native is firm on what they are going to do then in that scenario the native is very successful however this combination can give problems related to stomach and digestion regarding which the native should be very careful and most importantly the middle ages and the old age of the life uh, old age of the native is very successful however the childhood can be a bit troubled uh, one thing i forgot to tell you when 11th lord is going into fourth house person have a very beautiful home which other people also like person have a dream home and person can own multiple luxury vehicles as well right 11th lord going into 6th house i will not say that it is a very bad combination as such it generally indicates that person uh, lives disease free However, some major diseases can be there in life, but keeping in mind that the person goes to doctor properly and listens to their advice, these diseases will disturb for a few months only. And after that, it will evaporate like it was never there. With respect to earning money, there can be some struggles. To maintain money and to save money, there can be struggles and there can be huge expenditures also. But this is something that the native can easily manage. And most importantly, because 11th lot is going into an Opachaya house, money keeps on increasing. And as the person progresses in age, their financial status, their professional status also keeps on increasing. The native is awarded. The native is owned by people. And the native is winner over their enemies, specifically in the cases of litigation, court cases and fight fights. The native will never see any type of defeat and the native will be quite successful on the societal standards. Most importantly, the Upchaya houses are called non-painful houses. So keeping this in mind, 11th Lord going into 6th house generally gives attention-free life and any type of pain or remorse that can be there in the life of the native right now soon gets eradicated. This is a combination which makes sure that everything that you wish and desire in life, you get it for sure 100%. Apart from that, Relationship with maternal uncles can be a bit tense, but the person gains a lot through maternal uncles as well. The native will have good life. He will have many servants and native will live a life of comforts and luxuries. So that is very certain. If this 11th Lord in sixth house is benefic, then in that particular scenario, it will be making an Adhi Yoga to the ascendant as well, which will give Rajyo power, professional status and financial success as well. Right. But one thing is there that the native is surrounded by enemies. People are jealous of him. People want to compete with him. And even those whom he considers as his friends will plan to disturb him, plan to put obstructions in his path behind his back. So native in reality have no real friends as such. And many a times because of enmity, because of competition, because of jealousy of people and because of people just thinking that you don't deserve it. They can create disturbances in your life regarding which you have to be very, very careful. And any person on whom you have any type of doubt regarding any matter, don't let them intervene much in your life. Otherwise, it will be very, very problematic. 11th Lord going into 7th house. If you want to know what 7th Lord will do into 11th house, you should see 7th house video regarding marriage. Multiple other videos are also there. It feels very frustrating when people don't see previous videos and ask stupid questions. I never entertain them. I will never entertain them. Right. So if anything is answered before in any previous video, you have to watch that and get your answer yours. Right. If you are asking a question regarding which I have not answered before, then I will answer you or make a forthcoming. Right. This is very simple as it works. Hard work I am doing of making the video. You have to do the hard work of watching it. 11th Lord and 7th house, fulfillment of wishes and desires after marriage happens. Life partner either comes from a rich family or life partner is working or following the advice of life partner, the person becomes financially very, very successful. So that is a very good setup. Some people think that it is a combination for multiple marriage, which it is not. Right, though the person can have good friend circle, but it is not like friend circle. The person have a good circle of admirers. So though society, in society, they are seen as friends, but they are not actually friends. They are admirers. The person is famous, known, have support of multiple people, but the health condition of the native may not be good. The native is fairly very much successful in foreign lands. And if the person live near to his birthplace, then the success of the native can be a little bit disturbed. 
this is also a mara combination which indicates that every 4 or 5 years person goes through great troubles and there are quite some ups and downs in life that until and unless the ascendant is fixed much stability cannot be expected in life and every 4 to 5 years things start rebooting over and over again which becomes problematic for the native one thing is there in this particular scenario the life partner can be very eager to have child whereas the native may face difficulties in having children so for the case of children in this case proper consultation with the doctor taking proper medication following proper routine is something that i will highly recommend apart from that whenever the native feels stuck in their life they should go on traveling and generally i have seen that while traveling they catch over one of the greatest deals of their life or they meet such or they get such ideas while traveling which they later on implement and become very successful when the 11th lord is going into 8th house some people may think that it is a combination for getting inheritance i take inheritance from the 10th house it is not from the 8th house but because the 11th lord is in 10th house from 11th house this combination is supportive of wealth and it indicates that the native is wealthy but 11th house indicates misfortune also owing to misfortune such as disease accidents of the native or people around him the native may have to lose money but apart from that it is a financially good condition if you ignore the sudden huge expenditures that may come also 8th house is taken as a house of expenditure and 11th lord in 8th house may indicate that the native will do some bad investments which will force him to lose money and the native can be spendthrift who is spending money without thinking one thing will be there, but that 11th Lord in 8th house will be expecting 2nd house, making some sort of Rajyog. If there is a positive planet in 2nd house also, it will be a bigger Rajyog as compared to an empty 2nd house and 11th Lord in 8th house. However, be it a, sorry, it will be a bigger Dhaniyog. Be it a bigger Dhaniyog or be it a smaller Dhaniyog, 11th Lord in 8th house does indicate influx of wealth. But apart from that, it does indicate uncontrolled expenditure and sudden huge loss of money apart from cheating and other such issues this have to be keep in mind this is a combination which keeps you tensed regarding your uh, re regarding your uh, financial future and most importantly i have seen that in old ages and in childhood this person can suffer scarcity of money in middle ages though the income of money is good but because of expenditure and unexpected loss of money the person can find it difficult to enjoy their wealth right this is something that have to be kept in mind and this is a combination which can indicate sexual diseases sexual weakness sexual debility also and a person should be very careful regarding their legs as it can indicate problems related to legs hearing related issues can also be indicated and one should be very careful about the things that they consume also because 80 percent of the time internal problems internal problems as in see one you can have problem in stomach another is like you can break your bone now break your bone is an outside thing having a problem in stomach is inside thing so 80 percent of the time internal diseases are because of bad lifestyle habits bad eating habits bad sleeping habits bad sitting habits of the native this is something that the native should keep in check if the 11th lord is going into 9th house see 9th house is fortune 11th house is wealth so the person earns wealth with fortune generally these people will not remain unemployed for long they will be paid more as compared to what others are paid they will generally get good contracts good job they will have riches and whatever they want to have in life, their luck supports them to have it. These people also have a combination of getting good inheritance from their father. Like 11th Lord and 4th House is indicating good in, uh, good combination for getting inheritance from your mother. 11th Lord and 9th House also gives multiple properties and vehicles to the native. Apart from that, the native can be in a government job or can earn through governmental contracts as well. Native is fortunate and the fortune keeps on increasing day by day. Native is valorous, native is famous, supported by many. Native is awarded and people respect the native, people keep regard of the native. This is also a combination where the native will be almost at the top of his professional life, of his professional career. If the 11th Lord and 9th house is a malefic planet in that particular scenario, these good results may start late in life but they will start for sure until and unless the 11th Lord in 9th house is afflicted. This combination specifically is very good 
when the native is spiritual also so in this case i will strongly recommend the native to pursue spirituality with 100% of their heart and a habit of daily visiting temples visiting a pilgrimage once a month or sorry once a year making regular donations will prove to be very very beneficial for the native apart from that getting initiation into tradition of a guru and following a guru will also be very beneficial for the native that the native should 11th lord and 10th house though it is not a rajyog or dhanyog technically but the results are equal to rajyog and dhanyog person is earning well from his job his financial condition is almost secure the native is awarded the native is honored people take him as his leader he have you know he will rule over many people rule over many people means either he is having very high status in his profession or he is doing business in any case whatever hard work he is doing he is amply rewarded and there is no scarcity in his in his life multiple properties multiple vehicles it indicates it also indicates that person is happy with whatever they are earning it is more than satisfactory and all the wishes and desires of the native is quite fulfilled he have good status also comfort in life is there mental solace is there most importantly it also indicates that there is a very good marital life it is also indicative of a very supportive life partner and apart from that it is also indicative of native living a life of luxuries 11th lord in good house in good condition anywhere will indicate that native will live a life of luxuries apart from that i have already told you that based on the significations of 11th lord in different house you can find out what you, what you can do to get more famous fame is not only about what you understand if you do things as per the house where your 11th lord is situated in horoscope you will get famous for what you are doing this fame in your workplace will give you good promotions this fame in your society will make you a major person right so everyone should go for fame everyone should do things which makes them famous more valued this way you will get 100% of your efforts this is something that you should do under all cost 11th lord and 11th house one of the best combinations all the wishes and desires of the native is fulfilled native have a financially secure career whatever the native is doing he will gain out of it there is even time even the things that the native is doing in time pass or as a hobby those things will also be beneficial to the native in one way or the other but the native have to make sure because it gives a lot of influx of wealth native have to make sure not to go into bad habits spending money with friends carelessly doing expenditure drinking alcohol these things should be avoided otherwise if you are not following dharma properly remember it is third house from the ninth house if you are not following your dharma properly then in that particular scenario 11th lord in 11th house can be problematic as well person lives a life of luxuries all the wishes and desires are fulfilled specifically after marriage the native is even more successful there is good status in profession either the person is at high professional level or he is doing business all the wishes and desires of the native is fulfilled there is no scarcity in the life of the native until and unless the 11th lord in 11th house is afflicted apart from that 11th lord in 11th house also indicates long life to the native the native generally lives disease free the mother also have a long life however there can be separation or bad relationship with father problems in child birth i have generally seen in this particular scenario the native may have a lot of enemies and generally because of ignorance the native can lose money also the native should be very systematic with respect to earning money saving money and how to spend it where to spend it otherwise it will be problematic native is generally supported by their family members and if the native is not supported by their family members then after marriage he is supported by the family members of their life partner so basically it is all a good combination the only condition is native should follow his dharma properly if the native is not following his dharma properly or if the native is having bad habits bad vices then in this scenario 11th lord in 11th house i have seen one of the most unsuccessful people as well also the desire of the native should be realistic your realistic desire even if two three times more than what the native is capable of will be fulfilled but if the native have the habit of daydreaming and living in fantasy la la land only in that particular scenario it is not fulfilled at all 
11th lord and 12th house people generally think it is a bad combination whatever money you earn you will spend it is true only when the 11th lord and 12th house is afflicted in good conditions 11th lord and 12th house i have seen that person makes some very good investments and earns a lot of money because of these investments so 11th lord and 12th house i will not say it is an entirely bad combination it have some good parts to it also however bad vices company of bad friends alcoholism and spending money on bad things should be avoided only then this will give a very good combination only then it will give a very good dhaniyog very good result 11th lord and 12th house native should try to live try to spend some time alone meditation contemplating on what you want to do what you really want to achieve and doing things keeping in mind what is your target and not doing even a single thing which deters you from your target and your ambition and your goal is the key otherwise it can be very problematic the native 11th lord and 12th house is also a combination where the native can be falsely accused of something or if the native is doing bad karmas then he can be rightly accused of things because of which he can lose his owner also so that is something that have to be keep in mind a very ugly termination or loss of job can also happen if it if the 11th lord and 12th house is in a bad condition that should also be kept in mind generally 11th lord and 12th house i have seen that some family members may have died an untimely death if there is any such family member that you know of a pind danam for them gaya shrad for them should be done properly then it will be a good combination however for movable ascendants aries capricorn cancer and libra 11th lord and 12th house is actually good because when badak goes to 12th house it is loss of badha so generally these people have a very good smooth happy beautiful life however while driving vehicle and while dealing with tools these people have to be successful as i have seen many very silly mistakes they do because of which they can lose a lot of things in life like regarding tools they can do very silly mistakes because of which they can hurt themselves and apart from that because of very silly mistakes in life right mistreating life partner doing bad with friends they can get enmity which will be a major cause of suffering because 11th lord is going into 12th house it will be expecting 6th house back and whatever 11th house expects that house expands that 11th house is epitome of expansion so 11th lord and 12th house can also give a lot of enemies and lot of competition so the native have to follow his dharma properly and do everything with planning otherwise this enemies and competition can make the life difficult however at the same point of time 11th lord and 12th house will also increase servants and if this is a good combination 11th lord is in a good condition then there can be multiple servants person can be head of an institution head of a business or very high position in his profession as well family members are generally supportive your behavior with family members should be good otherwise their supports can be taken away 11th lord and 12th house it can indicate physical weakness the capacity to fight with the disease is not very good in the uh, horus in the life of the native person should work on inner strength daily exercise is the key otherwise it will be problematic generally siblings are more successful if the native have good relationship cordial relationship with their siblings then they can expect some major gains from their siblings also mother is successful in life generally helps the native is much attached to the native also however because of the behavior of the native the relationship with mother can be sore so that is something that have to be kept in mind in 11th that have to be kept in mind 11th lord and 12th house is also not a very good combination for progeny so proper planning for childbirth should be done 11th lord and 12th house is also a combination which indicates that there can be fights and difference of opinion with life partner one should try their best not to let any type of misunderstanding creep in between the couple and it it and if it have crept then in that particular scenario talk to your life partner and do your best to resolve it as soon as possible otherwise in the long run this can be very problematic 11th lord in 12th house generally gives a lots of ups and downs in the life of the native unexpected expenditure bad investments these thing can occur very often so be careful about it be thoughtful regarding whatever you are doing and don't do things which you think are going to be problematic right apart from that if there is the best remedy for 11th lord in 12th house will be to get initiated in a tradition follow a guru wholeheartedly do mantra chanting every day which i have seen over the time significantly improves the condition of the native 11th lord in 12th house initially also makes you struggle in your profession but around 
30 after the age of 35 it can give good professional status to the native as well provided the fact that 11th lot is in good condition i have told you the result of 11th lot in different houses in nutshell but with multiple meanings little bit you think over it and many more results you can make yourself different house lots in 11th house are also told before those videos you should see okay thank you